Certificate of Professional Competence, CPC for Transport Managers, Road Haulage, Multiple Choice Exam Questions. Which of the following statements relating to the law of contract are correct? 1. Exemption clauses can be inserted up to seven days after the contract is made. 2. Once made, an offer cannot be withdrawn. 3. Acceptance of an offer must be communicated. 4. All contracts must be in writing. 5. Both parties to a contract must offer some consideration. The correct answer is B, 3 and 5 only. Mr. and Mrs. Jones are the only shareholders in Acme Transport Limited, which has a contract to provide transport between Birmingham and London. Mr. and Mrs. Jones sell their shareholding to Mr. and Mrs. Green. Insofar as the contract is concerned, Acme Transport Limited must continue to operate the contract, may only continue with the contract if the customer gives written agreement, cannot continue to operate the contract, may decide whether or not to operate the contract. The correct answer is A, must continue to operate the contract. Which of the following would be an advantage to a road hauler if included in her conditions of carriage? 1. A clause preventing transshipment. 2. A clause allowing subcontracting. 3. A clause making the hauler liable for damage caused by the consigner. 4. A clause limiting the hauler's liability for loss or damage to the goods. The correct answer is C, 2 and 4 only. A UK operator is engaged on a hire and reward journey from the UK to Germany, carrying a full load, 25 tons, of electrical products with a total value of 200,000 pounds. On unloading at the delivery point, the consignee discovers damage to half of the consignment and endorses the load documentation accordingly. Under the CRM convention, what is the maximum amount which the hauler might have to pay in compensation for the damage? Assume the value of one SDR is one pound. The correct answer is D, 100,000 pounds. The rights of various classes of shareholders in a limited company must be contained in its Memorandum of Association, Certificate of Incorporation, Articles of Association, Certificate of Trading. The correct answer is C, Articles of Association. With only four Transport Manager CPC exam dates offered each year, and weeks or months of intensive studying required to pass it successfully, Post your job description or search CVs for free on Hired.com and we will help you to find a qualified transport manager for your operator's license, available immediately. If you've passed your CPC exam, congratulations! Now upload your CV on Hired.com and let companies that need your services find you. If you have any questions or would like to speak with a professional, click on Contact Us and send us your inquiry. See more information and contact details in the description below. Three individuals wish to set up a business together. They want minimal formation formalities and are each prepared to accept all of the responsibilities and liabilities that the business might incur. Which of these business types is likely to be the most appropriate? Sole trader? Partnership? Private limited company? public limited company? The correct answer is B, partnership. Under company law, a private limited company cannot start a business before which of the following have been achieved. 1. The Registrar of Companies has issued its Certificate of Incorporation. 2. 
the public liability insurance cover has been taken out. 3. Planning permission has been obtained from the local authority. 4. A director has been appointed. The correct answer is C, 1 and 4 only. Every limited company must show on its letterhead 1. VAT registration number 2. UK country of registration 3. Company registration number 4. Address of the registered office 5. List of directors The correct answer is B, 2, 3, and 4 only. Employment tribunals will hear complaints arising from which of the following employment-related issues? 1. Appeals against the issue of improvement notices. 2. Discrimination against disabled people. 3. Night out allowance tax relief for drivers employed in the industry. 4. Equal pay. 5. Workers claiming the company's recognized trade union is not independent. 6. Racial discrimination. The correct answer is C. 2, 4, and 6 only. A driver is a school governor and has to attend committee meetings from time to time during normal working hours. Under employment protection legislation, the driver is only entitled to time off to attend. If the working hours missed through attending the meeting are made up, the employer is not obliged to give the driver any time off to attend such meetings. The driver must be given reasonable time off, with pay, to attend such meetings. The driver must be given reasonable time off to attend such meetings. The correct answer is D. Must be given reasonable time off to attend such meetings. An employer wishes to dismiss a number of employees. Which of the following statements related to statutory periods of notice are correct? 1. One week's notice is required, regardless of the amount of time employed. 2. One week's notice must be given when an employee has worked more than one month but less than one year. 3. Four weeks' notice would have to be given to an employee who has been employed for four years. 4. 15 weeks' notice would have to be given to an employee who's been employed for 15 years. The correct answer is C, 2 and 3 only. Which of the following bodies has the right to appoint safety representatives within a company that has a unionized workforce? The employer, a recognized trade union, a works council, a works consultative committee. The correct answer is B, a recognized trade union. Which of the following must be paid to HMRC by a self-employed worker in the transport industry, earning approximately £30,000 per year? 1. Payee 2. Class 1 National Insurance Contributions 3. Class 2 National Insurance Contributions 4. Class 4 National Insurance Contributions 5. Income Tax the correct answer is D, 3, 4, and 5 only. A driver is on an international journey from the Midlands to the Republic of Ireland using the Liverpool-Dublin ferry. On day one, the driver makes a number of connections in the UK and arrives at the Liverpool ferry terminal at 1300 hours. The driver takes 13 minutes to embark the ferry and then commences a daily rest. At 2100 hours, the driver leaves his cabin to disembark the vehicle. This will take until 2130. After disembarkation, the driver will resume his daily rest in the vehicle. What is the earliest time at which he can recommence driving on day two? 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 3.30.
The correct answer is A, at 1 o'clock. Which of the following statements relating to regulation EC 561-2006 are correct as they apply to a goods vehicle driver on a single manned journey from Dundee to southern France using the Channel Tunnel? 1. After four and a half hours continuous driving, a minimum break of 30 minutes must be taken. 2. The driver is permitted to take a daily rest in two separate periods. 3. Daily driving periods of 10 hours each could be completed on two days of the week. 4. An uninterrupted daily rest period may be reduced to 8 hours, provided that compensation is made before the end of the week of the following week. The correct answer is B, 2 and 3 only. In respect of digital tachographs, for which of the following purposes can company digital cards be used? Calibrating the instrument? Storing information downloaded from vehicle units? Locking in and locking out data stored in the vehicle unit? Analyzing downloaded information? The correct answer is C, locking in and locking out. Under the provisions of the Road Transport Working Time Regulations 2005, which of the following limits applies? 1. 65 hours working time in any one week. 2. 48 hours working time per week averaged over the reference period. 3. No more than 6 hours work without a break. 4. No more than four and a half hours work without a break. 5. 60 hours working time in any one week. The correct answer is D, 2, 3, and 5 only. A UK road transport operator is registered for VAT. During a quarter's trading, the following figures, all excluding VAT, are recorded. Sales, 1,800,000 pounds. Fuel purchases, 200,000 pounds. Driver's wages, 180,000 pounds. Outside maintenance contractor, VAT registered, 70,000 pounds. How much VAT must the operator remit to HM Revenue and Customs for this quarter's trading? The correct answer is B, 106,000 pounds. Which of the following would be legitimate uses of a trade license used in connection with a new, untaxed goods vehicle? 1. To demonstrate the vehicle to a potential customer. 2. To deliver goods to a customer following a breakdown of the original vehicle scheduled. 3. To deliver the vehicle to a purchaser. 4. To check the vehicle's unladen weight. The correct answer is D, 1, 3, and 4 only. Which European country has an electronic road charging system known as the LKW Maut? Germany, Austria, Switzerland, Italy. The correct answer is A, Germany. Which of the following items are shown on a company's trading account? The company's gross profit only? The company's net profit before tax only? Both the company's gross and net profits? The company's net profit after tax only? The correct answer is A, the company's gross profit only. Which of the following statements relating to corporation tax are correct? 1. Corporation tax is levied on gross profits. 2. All partnerships, private limited companies, and public limited companies are liable to pay corporation tax. 3. Corporation tax is payable to HM Revenue and Customs. 4. 
Any corporation tax due must generally be paid within nine months of the end of the business's financial year. The correct answer is B, three and four only. The document which a supplier of goods or services sends to a customer, summarizing the accumulated amount the customer owes to the supplier at a particular date, is called a statement, a quotation, a debt note, an invoice. The correct answer is A, a statement. Which of the following would be considered to be short-term sources of finance for a limited company? 1. Two-year bank loan. 2. Taxation provision. 3. Creditors. 4. Debtors. The correct answer is A. 2 and 3 only. When analyzing a balance sheet, which of the following are classed as liquid assets? 1. Cash 2. Debtors 3. Creditors 4. Plant and Equipment 5. Parts Stocks The correct answer is C. 1 and 2 only. A transport company's profit and loss account records direct costs, indirect costs, operating costs, commercial vehicle running cost. The correct answer is B, indirect costs. To calculate a company's gross profit, which of the following items of information would be required? 1. The direct costs. 2. The total turnover. 3 the indirect costs. 4. The current assets. The correct answer is A, 1 and 2 only. A company has the following information in its balance sheet. Machinery, plant, and equipment, 100,000 pounds. Current assets, 140,000 pounds. Current liabilities, 90,000 pounds. Vehicles, 200,000 pounds. The working capital is A, 50,000 pounds. The following financial information relating to a company is available. Current assets, current liabilities, and the value of the stock. Which of the financial indicators listed below could be calculated from this information? 1. Current ratio working capital ratio, two, acid test ratio, quick asset ratio, three, total capital employed, four, return on capital employed. The correct answer is C, one and two only. A transport company is preparing a marketing plan. Which of the following statements are correct? One, Advertising is just one part of marketing. 2. A marketing plan must always cover at least five years. 3. The results of market research are likely to be used in producing a marketing plan. 4. A marketing plan should be regularly monitored and reviewed. The correct answer is C. 1, 3, and 4 only. With only four transport manager CPC exam dates offered each year, and weeks or months of intensive studying required to pass it successfully, post your job description or search CVs for free on Hired.com, and we will help you to find a qualified transport manager for your operator's license, available immediately. If you've passed your CPC exam, congratulations! Now upload your CV on Hired.com and let companies that need your services find you. If you have any questions or would like to speak with a professional, click on Contact Us and send us your inquiry. See more information and contact details in the description below. Third-party motor insurance must provide cover for all passengers, 
employee passengers only, fire damage to the policyholder's vehicle, theft of the policyholder's vehicle. The correct answer is A, all passengers. What is the purpose of the EHIC? To give holders the right to cross borders in the Schengen area without a passport? To substantiate that the vehicle is correctly insured for international journeys? To provide proof that the driver is riding with the permission of the vehicle owner? To show the holder's entitlement to emergency health care? The correct answer is D. To show the holder's entitlement to emergency health care. Which of the following technologies would assist a road transport operator in the parcels sector to track individual consignments? 1. ANPR 2. RFID 3. Barcodes 4. CAN bus The correct answer is C. 2 and 3 only. A UK transport and shipping company is contracted to arrange the export of machinery from the UK to a destination in Norway. The customer in Norway wants the seller in the UK to remain responsible for all aspects of the journey until the goods arrive at the specified Norwegian port. The most appropriate incoterm for this transaction would be EXW, FCA, DAT, DDP. The correct answer is C, DAT. In respect of organizations providing ancillary services to the road haulage industry, which of the following statements are true? 1. A clearinghouse provides financial payment services. 2. A groupage operator brings together the goods of several consigners to make up a full load. 3. A clearinghouse may offer a backloading service. 4. A freight forwarder acts on behalf of consigners by arranging transport and other services. 5. A subcontracted carrier is normally directly responsible to the sender of the goods for delays in delivery of the goods. 6. Most freight forwarders operate a hub-and-spoke distribution system. The correct answer is C, 2, 3, and 4 only. A company holds a restricted operator license. This permits it to deliver and collect its own goods in the UK only, deliver and collect its own goods in the UK and internationally, deliver and collect all goods for hire or reward or own account in the UK only. Deliver and collect all goods for hire or reward or own account in the UK and internationally. The correct answer is B. Deliver and collect its own goods in the UK and internationally. On 4 October, an operator license applicant advertised the application for a standard national operator license in the local newspaper. The traffic commissioner received representations from Resident A on 19 October, Resident B on 28 October, Resident C on 29 October, Resident D on 30 October. All were on environmental grounds and all lived in the vicinity of the applicant's operating center. The traffic commissioner must take into account those from The correct answer is A. Resident A only. Which of the following items form part of the standard undertakings which a transport company must make when submitting an application for a new operator license? 1. The company will meet the environmental standards ISO 14001. 2. The company's vehicles will operate within the speed limits. 3. Maintenance records will be kept for at least 12 months. 4. The rules concerning driver's hours and records will be obeyed. 5. There will be a system for reporting and rectifying defects. 
The correct answer is D, 2, 4, and 5 only. A person makes a representation in respect of an application for an operator license. Identify which of the following statements are true. 1. A representer may appeal in his own right against the traffic commissioner's decision. 2. Representations must be made within 21 days of the application appearing in applications and decisions. 3. A representer must send a copy of his own representations to the applicant. 4. A representer must own or occupy property in the vicinity of the proposed operating center. The correct answer is A. 3 and 4 only. OCR Haulage Limited has a standard national operator license, permitting it to operate 12 rigid goods vehicles from its operating center in Cardiff. After two years of operating from this center, a nearby resident writes to the traffic commissioner complaining of noise caused by vehicle movements. What action is likely to be taken by the traffic commissioner? OCR's license will be converted to an interim license pending a public inquiry. The commissioner will record the complaint and may take it into consideration at the next five-yearly review. OCR's license will be revoked immediately. The commissioner cannot take action on complaints from residents once an operating center has been approved. The correct answer is B. The commissioner will record the complaint and may take it into consideration at the next five-yearly review. An operator has operator licenses in both the Scottish and Northeastern traffic areas. The operator wishes to transfer an authorized vehicle from Scotland to an operating center in the Northeast. What is the maximum amount of time that the vehicle may remain in the Northeast before the traffic commissioner is informed and a formal transfer requested? One month, three months, 12 months, 15 months. The correct answer is B, three months. A UK operator has a standard international operator license. It authorizes the operation of 35 vehicles on the road currently, plus a margin of another five vehicles. How many community license documents will be issued to the operator? One original document only. One original plus 35 certified copies. One original plus 40 certified copies. 30 certified copies only. The correct answer is C, one original plus 40 certified copies. What is the main purpose of an ECMT multilateral haulage permit, and for how long is one valid? To permit journeys to EU countries, having a maximum validity of six months to permit journeys to EU countries having a maximum validity of 12 months, to permit journeys to non-EU countries having a maximum validity of 6 months, to permit journeys to non-EU countries having a maximum validity of 12 months. The correct answer is D, to permit journeys to non-EU countries having a maximum validity of 12 months. In the UK, an operator could obtain tier carnets from which of the following organizations? International Road Freight Office, IRFO. Vehicle and Operator Services Agency, VOSA. Road Haulage Association, RHA. Chamber of Commerce. The correct answer is C. Road Haulage Association, RHA. A UK driver would need a visa in order to enter which of the following countries? Romania, Croatia, Slovenia, Turkey. The correct answer is D, Turkey. An operator has agreed to carry a long load for a customer, which will project beyond the rear of the vehicle. 
Under construction and use regulations, what is the maximum projection possible before the operator needs to fit a rear marker board to the load? 1 meter, 2 meters, 3.05 meters, 4.5 meters. The correct answer is B, 2 meters. Currently, the height limit in Germany for a goods vehicle is unspecified, 3.5 meters, 4 meters, 4.5 meters. The correct answer is C, 4 meters. When drawing up the specification for the future purchase of a new 44-ton GVW vehicle, which of the following features would assist in improving likely fuel economy? 1. Biodiesel fuel system. 2. Air management system. 3. Aluminium wheels. 4. Additional axles. The correct answer is B. 2 and 3 only. A vehicle which has failed its annual test may be resubmitted to the same test station. Normally, only the defective items will be re-examined, provided the vehicle is retested within a maximum period of 5 days, 7 days, 10 days, 14 days. The correct answer is D. 14 days. A driver is examining her vehicle's tires as part of her daily workaround checks. Which tire conditions from the following list would render a tire, intended for use on a vehicle of 18,000 kg GVW, illegal for use on the road? 1. A tread depth of 1.3 mm across the full breadth of the tire. 2. Incorrectly inflated. 3. A cut of 15 mm, which represents 8% of the tire width. 4. A bulge caused by separation of the tire structure. 5. A part of a tire cord being exposed. The correct answer is A, 2, 4, and 5 only. The Code of Practice on the Safe Loading of Vehicles states that to prevent movement of the payload in a sideways direction, a load restraint device should be capable of withstanding a force equal to 25% of the total weight of the load, 100% of the total weight of the load, 50% of the total weight of the load, 70% of the total weight of the load. The correct answer is C, 50% of the total weight of the load. A 44-ton GVW articulated road tanker is scheduled to carry a full load of a single corrosive substance from Runcorn in the UK to Ghent in Belgium, crossing the channel using the Dover-Calais ferry. With regard to vehicle marking, which requirements will have to be met for each leg of the journey? Runcorn to Dover, Dover to Calais, and Calais to Ghent. 1. UK tanker marking requirements must be met for all three legs of the journey. 2. UK tanker marking requirements must be met for the journey from Runcorn to Dover only. 3. ADR tanker marking requirements must be met for all road journey legs, in both the UK and abroad. 4. IMDG tanker marking requirements must be met for the ferry crossing. 5. ADR tanker marking requirements must be met for the road journey between Calais and Ghent only. 6. IMDG tanker marking requirements must be met for the whole journey, both road and sea legs. The correct answer is C, 3 and 4 only. Which of the following statements related to the UK carriage of foodstuffs for human consumption are correct? 1. Chilled goods must be carried at a maximum of plus 8 degrees Celsius. 2. 
quick frozen goods must be carried at a maximum of minus 8 degrees Celsius. 3. Tankers must be marked for foodstuffs only. 4. Records from temperature recording equipment must be kept for at least 15 months. The correct answer is C. 1 and 3 only. An operator is planning a journey carrying perishable foodstuffs in a refrigerated vehicle from Newcastle-upon-Tyne to Lisbon in Portugal using the Plymouth to Santander ferry crossing. Which parts of the journey will be subject to the ATP agreement? 1. The UK road journey from Newcastle to Plymouth, 550 kilometers. 2. The ferry journey from Plymouth to Santander, 800 kilometers. 3. The Spanish road journey from Santander to the Portuguese border, 500 kilometers. 4. The Portuguese road journey from the Spanish border to Lisbon, 200 kilometers. The correct answer is A, 3 and 4 only. Provided that they are offered water at appropriate intervals during the journey, pigs may be transported for a maximum of 8 hours, 9 hours, 14 hours, 24 hours. The correct answer is D, 24 hours. If a UK driver needed an international driving permit, from which of the following organizations could one be obtained? 1. DVLA Swansea 2. VOSA Central Licensing Office, Leeds 3. AA 4. Any UK insurance company 5. Green Flag The correct answer is B. 3 and 5 only. A person holding a Category C vocational entitlement, but not Category E, may drive a vehicle towing a trailer with a maximum authorized mass not exceeding a threshold of 500 kilograms, 750 kilograms, 850 kilograms, 1,020 kilograms. The correct answer is B, 750 kilograms. Which yellow line markings would indicate to drivers a total prohibition on loading and unloading in that area? A single line in the gutter parallel to the curb? Single line on the curb at right angles to the carriageway? Double line on the curb at right angles to the carriageway? Double line on the gutter parallel to the curb? The correct answer is C. Double line on the curb at right angles to the carriageway. Which of the following countries impose blanket prohibitions on the movement of large goods vehicles for periods of time over weekends and public holidays? 1. Germany 2. Spain 3. Netherlands 4. Belgium 5. Italy the correct answer is D, 1, 2, and 5 only. The Road Traffic Act, 1988, requires drivers involved in accidents to provide certain items of information at the scene. In the case of a minor accident where no personal injury is involved, which of the following must be produced at the scene in order to preclude the need for any reporting to the police? 1 the driver's name and address, 2. The driver's license, 3. The certificate of insurance, 4. The vehicle owner's name and address, 5. The registration number of the vehicle. The correct answer is C, 1, 4, and 5 only. With only four transport manager CPC exam dates offered each year, and weeks or months of intensive studying required to pass it successfully, 
Post your job description or search CVs for free on Hired.com, and we will help you to find a qualified transport manager for your operator's license, available immediately. If you've passed your CPC exam, congratulations! Now upload your CV on Hired.com and let companies that need your services find you. If you have any questions or would like to speak with a professional, click on Contact Us and send us your inquiry. See more information and contact details in the description below.